All right, welcome back. So, the UFC has booked Jocelyn Edwards versus Eileen Perez. Going to be a bantamweight bout. It's going to go down at UFC 302 on June 1st. Uh, location venue to be announced. I'm not going to go too much into the fight itself. Uh, Edwards comes in at 13 and 5. Perez comes in at 9 and 2. What I want to talk about is that we have, for the first time in like two years at least, we have a genuine grudge match. And by grudge match, I mean these two do not like each other. They do not like each other. They want to rip each other's heads off. Um, honestly, the last genuine grudge match I could think of goes back to March of 2022 when Marina Morose and Maria Agapova faced off. Uh, they were former training partners and just didn't like each other. So here it is. By the time this happens, this will be over two years later. When this goes down in June, we have two fighters who do not like each other. And what this extends back to was when Perez, a few months back, faced um, Lucia Pudalova leading up to the fight. Um, Perez was at the Performance Institute, the UFC Performance Institute in Vegas. I guess Edwards was there too. Perez and her coach invited Edwards to do some sparring. Now, why you are doing some sparring, even the lightest of sparring on fight week, is beyond me. But apparently, at the goat shed where Perez trains down in Vegas, practically every day is sparring day from what I understand. I'm not going to talk talk trash on that because they have a couple fighters I want to interview sometime. So I'm not going to say too much on that. But for whatever reason, they invited um, Jocelyn Edwards to do some light sparring. And apparently, according to Perez and her coach, Edwards just started like going wild on Perez. And that's why, um, and then apparently Ed, or Perez's coach jumped on Edwards and started choking her out and they had to be separated or something like that. I, like, I don't remember the story exactly, but that's the approximation of it. So these two do not like each other. And then Aline Perez showed up to the Lucia Pudalova match with a with an already black eye, which you can actually see in the picture I'm using. So these two, after that happened, these two started going back and forth online for a little bit. So yeah, these two do not like each other. We have a genuine grudge match. Now what kind of things can you expect from a genuine grudge match? Well, you can usually expect some, some trash talking leading up to the fight. Uh, you can usually expect some trash talk at the, what do you want to call it, the press conference, if they both happen to be there, because let's be honest here, this is going to be down there on the prelims. We're talking possibly early prelims, because the way these two fight, you don't want them anywhere near the actual paid pay-per-view portion. Neither of them are, yeah, it just wouldn't incentivize it. Um, so if they're at the press conference, they're going to be talking trash, probably in Spanish, because both of them primarily speak in Spanish. Uh, and uh, we might get some shoves at any face-offs. And then come fight night. What are we going to expect during fight night? Well, usually when people genuinely don't like each other, they're seeking to beat to beat the ever-living crap out of each other. We're talking both fighters 
should, realistically, should be going forward. Don't take the other's heads off. And we might even get some dirty fighting. We might get some eye pokes. We might get a little bit of gouging. Uh, we might get some dirty fighting up against the cage. Uh, might get a couple fouls in there. Might get some referee warnings. Probably nothing to actually get a point taken off because this is MMA and the referees almost never take a point. But we should be expecting some uh, a little bit of naughtiness in the cage as well. So yeah, we've got a genuine grudge match. Which is nice to see because, you know, usually the ladies tend to get along with each other for the most part. Um, and this goes back years because for many years there weren't enough women to train with. So a lot of ladies in the women's divisions would just go around to different gyms and train with each other. So you don't get too many grudge matches. But now that the sport has grown, it's all over the world now. Uh, the women's divisions are welcome in pretty much in the, you know, every gym. There's enough that you can actually build up these grudge matches. And there are fighters out there that genuinely do not like each other. And every once in a while, they get to face off. And this is one of those times. Uh, as for the fight itself, I think Edwards will take it. Let's see, looking at some of the stats here, the only, I believe the only opponent they share in common is Lucia Pudilova. Uh, personally, I thought Pudilova won the Edwards fight, and I think she did enough in the final round to get a draw versus um, Perez. Those are my personal feelings, but I'm a Lucia Pudilova fan. I don't rate either of these two very highly. Edwards is boring. Perez is just not very good. So I, I really don't want to talk about the actual, about like their skills and everything, because they're otherwise they're not that interesting. Like Perez is a train wreck, twerking everywhere. Edwards is just a boring fighter. But this fight is interesting because facing each other, they don't like each other. They already got bad blood going in. So that's why I wanted to talk about this. So. Let me know your thoughts. Is Do we have a genuine grudge match? Are we going to actually get a good fight out of these two? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button while you're at it. If you haven't yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe to WM Macy Now, the best, most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.